Golden flashes and the Razorbacks meeting for the third time. Our officials, Ashley Good, Frank Steratore, and Joseph Vasily were underway from the Basketball Palace of Mid-America. Golden flashes control first. Well, that's an easy drive to the hoop by Shoemate for the game's first points. We well, can have to guard her, and uh, Saylor there kind of got off balance on defense for the Razorbacks, and number 14, Shoemate's their leading score. They're going to turn to her to get buckets. There's your five starters for the Razorbacks. Chrissy Carr pulls the trigger on a three and knocks one down. Her sixth hit from distance this season. By Shoemate challenging Poffenbarger. There was a little bit of contact, no whistle, but the ball dislodged, and it's run down by Claire Kelly. Yeah, that was probably a contact foul. Razorbacks kind of fall asleep there. They all fanned. They're just kind of feeling each other out right now. Both teams kind of trying to run offense, getting in a rhythm. Kent State averaging 74 points a game over the first two. Santoro spinning against Spencer. Just muscled that shot up off the glass. You're right. That was a good strong. She pivoted, kept her pivot foot still. Nice basket by Santoro. Spencer from deep. That's a good sign for Spencer. She's 20 from distance but hits her first triple this evening. How about that? That one was deep. That was about three feet past the three-point line. I love the fact the women now have the same three-point line as the men. It's a lot less confusing. It's easier to see, and they can shoot out there no problem. See how patient this Kent State team wants to be. Santoro, the drive, little scoop with the right hand. She's gotten loose there make her shoot over the top. Daniels, a good job to use her body to maybe shield her defender. Barda picks it up with the left hand. She'll score. Today he was outstanding. He's an old grinder. He's been around. He was in his ninth year of coaching before he was ever a full-time <laughs> assistant coach, and uh, he really has an interesting story. Built a pretty good program here in the MAC. Yeah, he has. He's done a good job in year seven at Kent State. Boy, good pass, great catch, left-handed basket by Aaron Barnum. Averaging five points a game, and she's a very capable scoring, but she does a whole lot of other things to help your team win. Four-point Razorback League. Golden flashes with the basketball. Hauser the drive. She'll coax one in. Corin Hauser out of Pennsylvania. Coach Starkey really high on what she's going to be able to bring this team. Yeah, that was a really difficult move and a nice finish by her. How about Spencer switching gears going with the right hand? A lot of dribbling in this possession. Three from the white right wing won't fall from Young. See the Razorbacks try and push this. Spencer, the stop, the go, the scoop, and the score. She's a tough kid. She can make an open three. She's an aggressive defensive player. Hauser, the flyby, nice job to get to the basket again. Motion, nice scoop layup, and she, she's going to be very good. Langerman just patiently waited for her defender to go by. Riley gets the basket, coming off what was a 10-point performance Monday night. One of the few open looks so far, and that's a three-pointer. Last year, she was 26 of 52 from distance. Yeah, I'm not that smart, but I know 26 of 52 <laughs> is 50%. And uh, she got open there on that left corner, and she buried it. So back to a two-point game. Minute to go here in our first quarter. Langerman. All of a sudden, she's added that three-pointer. Play, and they, they called it squaring up. You know, when you wanted to get there, get your feet set, square up. And, and if you were a good shooter, you had a chance to bury it. Kayla Daniels, Daniels. Kayla Daniels able to get. All the talented freshmen, South Carolina, Arkansas, Kentucky, LSU, Texas A&M, Auburn, Alabama. She is the SEC freshman of the year. And seven points in a busy first quarter for the Razorbacks. Chrissy Carr back in the game, pulls up a shot, knocks one down. She lifted on that, and it finds the rim. Beautiful shot. She has started every game but two over the five years of her college career, so she's used to launching. She'll do it again. Down big, but really able to fight back. But when you're down 12, that next run has to be yours. It can't be your opponent's. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Maya Mayberry, how about that? Lee Mayberry's daughter. 
I think she was four for six from the three in that game. Well, that's what Barnum has done this year, Z. Just and uh, just kind of ran into somebody and unfortunate, but hopefully she's okay. Good job by our crew. Yeah, good job on the camera there finding that. She may have gone to the tunnel. There's Spencer, the flyby again. Samara Spencer, nine quick points. Yeah, Samara averages 11. We saw that she averaged 12 as a freshman. I think she's got a chance to average 15 points as too. a sophomore. And that's hard. Uh, averaging 15 is not wow. easy. How about that maneuver? And a little shimmy to get that ball into her left hand and spin it up off the glass. Really good freshman from Pennsylvania, but they can't guard Spencer. <laughs> Spencer and answers. In this period. 14-0 run. Carr maybe wide on that one. Barely grazed the iron. Barnum, those yeah. saves to Langerman. There's Carr. She'll end up getting the basket after all with the lay-in. Five turnovers on Kent State. Santero has three of those five. This young lady's been fun to watch. Again, she gets to the basket. That's four times. Officials during this. We know Coach Neighbors will ride the officials quite a bit as well. So, hey, it's a mind game. It's mental. <laughs> I, I see it over there in those, in those men's games with Coach Musselman. He stays on them pretty good. How about Aaron Barnum? She's feeling it. Steps out. Mike Neighbors inside, sitting over there. Todd Schaefer, that staff, they are super happy about how their basketball team has played. You're, you're smacking this blowout, and it's second half. When you get a blowout. They've doubled up the golden flashes, and looking for more, Wolfenbarger cannot hit. Carr just about tracked down the rebound. Inside three minutes to go in our first half. Ball needs something to fall. That looked true out of her hands, and it is. Goes in. You just keep on chucking until you go, oh, wait a minute. I'll recalibrate. Ball won't get the roll. Chrissy Carr kept that foot down barely, the pivot foot. Daniels finds Barnum. This is what she does. Slithers, turns, twists, Ooh. and scores. She's done that all season. Finding the weakness and then finishing. Great job holding her left foot down as the pivot. She went. She spun around on it twice. Finally cleared the defender and buried it. Good job. So if you're a defender, you got to keep your shoulder squared. You got to try to keep her in front of you, even if you have to sag a little bit. Little zone right here. Dowda going to work. The spin, the score again. Miriam Dowda. That's almost undefensible if she gets that step again. Yeah, they went to zone, but immediately Arkansas said we're not worried about it. And they threw it right in the post. Nobody was able to get over there and help on Miriam Dowda. And they have a really big size advantage. She just can't quite get it strong in there finish. She's not made a basket 0 for 4 in the ball game. Spencer with the up fake. Samara Spencer. She pulled it out and then she decided to go. Sailor needs that to go. Right now she has that body language of frustration. Yeah, she does. And she can shoot it. She's a good player. But, and she's doing other things, scoring points, and that's okay sometimes. Ogle got the basket for Kent State. Feels like there's a little sliver of an opportunity right here for the Golden Flash. Yeah, they got to get a couple baskets strung together, though. That's a good start. Yeah. Pat Lansky with the triple, her first of the season, first field goal this evening. Barnum is able to run the floor. Yeah, I'm not sure how far all the way down the floor she got that time on defense. <laughs> and then, she, But she does run the floor now. She is not afraid to run that floor. Good fake. And, and Anna, two baskets in a row, and back that was a nice play. Yeah, five points right there. Bang, bang. Arkansas's largest lead tonight has been 21. Barnum again just gliding to the basket. That's too easy. Sailor with the spin. A little bit strong off the glass. Rebounds her miss, and then she just had it swatted and taken away from behind by Lindsey Thal. Well, that, there's, there goes that making your next shot, but she took a tough one. Good-looking shot out of the hands of Katie Shoemate. These Kent State players, they, they're, they're under control. And Brett, they're, not, they're, they're very good sports. We've not seen one of them mouth an official or throw their hands up. They just play, and they're very disciplined. Hey, there's Jersey Wolfenbarger. Yeah, she was 0 for 2. She needed that. Jersey, a very highly recruited player. You saw right there some glimpses of her. But back to Kent State. These young, these young ladies, are, they do a good job. They, they have, they behave well. They play hard. They compete. They don't. They're not on the floor coaching. They're not on the floor refereeing. Could use a few of these shots to fall. And there's another from Shoemate. Back to back. 
And she's had some injuries over the last few seasons where she probably hasn't been 100%, but hoping for a strong finish. Dowda waited. There was no pressure at all. Dowda was falling, done, kind of fell through the play. Miriam stayed under control, just powered it up, and made a nice, easy basket. Miriam's going to be a tremendous player at Arkansas over a four-year career. Another McDonald's All-American, does a little bit of everything. And great size. Hey, how about the scoring now from Katie Shoemaker? Both teams went at it pretty hard. And uh, th these kids are all in a good sweat. They've competed against each other. I've really enjoyed seeing Spencer go against uh, Hauser. It's been a pretty good matchup with those two. It's been a fun head-to-head -head matchup. See, they're sitting back in the zone a little bit. Samara Spencer with 18 points. As she Spencer a little bit more effective going to her left. But both of them are good. But look at those numbers. That's an outstanding game, and she's got a whole 10 minutes left to play. Indeed she does. Zone defense. Now they kind of just going back into man. Just sag and see how they're sag. Almost like a little matchup. Spencer's not bashful, is she? No, and you can't give her that kind of room. Bridget Dunn hit the deck. Arkansas coming back with numbers in the other direction. Michaela Daniels buries the three. Spencer was all the way to eight. Daniels was going to rein in the three-pointer. Yeah, and Arkansas pretty much sealed it right there because Kent State needed a really good first minute or two of this quarter to climb back in it. And you give up six points right off the bat. That's going to be a little bit too much. You're talking time's running on you pretty good now. I would say Katie Shoemate has made a concerted effort to get her points. Ten of her 12 have come here in the last five or six minutes. Spencer again finds Barnum. No whistle. Barnum coaxes in another one. Barnum coming off. And it'll also be interesting. Will Spencer come back in this ball game with 8.06 to play? The yeah, car was open in the yeah, corner. she was. Daniels will pull the trigger instead. She says, I've got it. Don't worry about it. Driving to the basket. They shoot threes, but they also do a lot of driving. That's pretty impressive numbers, and that's a beautiful shot from up top corner. Capable of putting up huge performances on the big stages. They just haven't had enough yeah. supporting help tonight. And Thaw was scoreless for quite some time as well early. There's another three-pointer. That's dropped in. Bit of a cold stretch, but. One for their last 11, 0 for their last nine. That's just taken away. Abby Ogle is going to cruise to the basket and score. A couple of field goals tonight from Baldwin City, Kansas. Yeah, she. Uh, I think she had a stop in West Virginia and played played there as well. So, there's Jersey gliding to the basket. I think that's the element of her. maybe a final look from the Golden Flashes, and that is going to do it. The Hawks win 80 to 59.